Hey there. So we had a sick dog last night and definitely got our money's worth out of this uh, Bissell carpet cleaner, but now it's time to clean it. Um, I specifically want to get to the suction area and I couldn't find any videos online. So after undoing a lot of screws on this, uh, taking it apart, putting it back together, uh, finding a lot of dead ends, here I am on YouTube showing you the best way that I've found to clean out the suction area. So hopefully this helps somebody. So the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the dirty water cartridge. And once you do that, it opens up this area that says uh, check and clean suction gate regularly. But there's no clear cut way to get to it. Um, you can see that there's an area there that clearly I mean, this is where the dirty water is coming from. So if there's a clog, it's going to happen around this area. The way to get to it is take a screwdriver. There's a screw here on the bottom left, and there's a screw here on the bottom right. And once you take those two screws out, this is just a clear plastic face plate. So I'll go ahead and take those screws out and show you what it looks like. So as soon as you take out those two screws, this is just a face plate and that's going to pop right off. Those two screws are literally the only thing keeping this over the, the suction gate as they call it. And so now you can see this is just a completely open area. So the way that this is working is the bristles are rotating. Um, there's the suction area right down here, which I'll, I'll get to in a second to show you how to clean that out. And once everything is coming up, it comes up here and it goes right through this area before it travels up the tube and into your dirty water container. So I already cleaned this space out. Um, it's not huge. But I did have some some dog hair built up there, so that was good to do. So now I'm going to just put this face plate back on. And you could match up this little bulb on the plastic to this little red piece. And that's how you know when it's when it's lined up. And then once you've got that lined up, then your screws just go back in the, the bottom right and the bottom left. Okay, I put the screws back in and to clean out down here, um, you actually don't need a screwdriver. So you're gonna take the machine, you're gonna tip it back so you've got a nice access to this right here, the suction area. And you can see now, if you put the machine on its side, you've got your 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 brushes, um, your brush system, and then right in here, this is where it's sucking up the water. There's a little gap in this plastic right here, and that's also where you're really prone to getting clogs of uh, like dirt and and hair and stuff. There's not really a clear way to get in there, but I found a little hack, which is to take um, take a paper clip and just unbend the paper clip. And then from there, you can slide it right in here. Now you can see I'm in between these two layers. Just take your paper clip. Slip it in between there. Now you can get right in there and scoop out any clogs. Yeah, just a paper clip. It's that simple. So that's the easiest way that I found to get in and check the suction area, make sure there's not a clog um, at the top and then at the bottom too. And again, this is the the Bissell Pro Heat 2X Lift Off Pet. Um, dirt lifter cleaning rows. So hopefully this helps somebody else too. And um, 
like I said, the, the only tools you should need are a screwdriver just to get off those two screws and just a paper clip. So, good luck. Happy cleaning. <laughs>